I'm Ethan, I love muzzle loading. Today we're testing the Hornady ELDX 340 grain projectile for your muzzle loader in clear ballistics, 10% FBI rated ballistics gel at 100 yards. I'm using my CVA Acura LRV2 for this test, and I'm using 80 grains of Blackhorn 209 measured by weight. This bullet loads very similarly in this particular muzzle loader to its brother or cousin, the FTX board driver. Now, the Hornady board driver ELDX does not come with a ramrod jag, so my ball starter, my bullet starter here, and my ramrod are fitted with other jags that I have to uh, not deform that tip. I'm using the Federal Premium Blue Box shot shell primers. Walking up on our scene here, I'm gonna shut off our slow motion camera and look here at what we're looking at from the side. That's the nice thing about this clear ballistics gel is we can kind of see what's happened. I'll give you a look here from the top. So we've had entry through the front. It looks like we've shed some of that copper jacket there. And our plastic tip is over here on the other side. The question is, did we stop? And yes, we did the majority of the bullet. So something I've seen a little bit online um, in some other tests especially just pure water jug tests, as we get similar performance as we saw in our water jug test um, with the FTX board driver. But with this gel hitting before the jug here, doesn't look like we've shed as much. There's still that chunk in the ballistics gel, that chunk of copper there, but it's not fragmented like we've seen in some other tests. What do you think though? Is the performance what you expected out of this new bullet from Hornady? I recognize that this is only 100 yards, and I do want to put out that this, this is a backyard test. It's not very scientific. It's me having fun uh, with some of this ballistics gel here. But this is a little bit, I think, uh, of possibly a better marker than some of the milk jug tests that we've done. If you're interested in the performance of this bullet in particular, I encourage you to check out, there's a great thread on the modern muzzle loading forum by a user by the name of El Diablo, where he's broken down and, and really used and abused this bullet, has a ton of data, a ton of information out there. I encourage you to check it out. It's a much better data layout than I could ever produce. So check that out. I'll have a link for that in the description of this video. If you like this test and want to see more tests like it, please let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at ilovemuzzloading at gmail.com. I've got some more of these bullets on order to do more accuracy testing with them. And if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, I'm thinking about going out to a range where I can get out to 200 yards to see what we can do with this bullet. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. In cleaning up after the ELDX test here, we found that uh, we cracked our table. So maybe that's a little designation of the force involved here. Whew. I'm going to have to come up with something a little better, I think.